Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another board game night. Tonight we're playing Carnage from Devil Pig Games. I'm not actually familiar with the designer, so I can't find it anywhere on the box. Do you any, have any Ooh, idea? Devil Pig Games come for that. <laughs> yeah. Have you got any idea, James? Absolutely no. Right, so with me, I have James. This is his copy of the game. Uh, Martin's here. Myself, Jason. And he's here too. <laughs> hey, Milo. Yeah, hello. <laughs> right, so this game is a really fast-paced card war game, shall we say? Designed by Jan and Clem. <laughs> oh, Jan and Clem. <laughs> yeah, two people who apparently, like Madonna, only have one name. <laughs> well, it sounds like a one, nice one British Sweden, name as well. One from Cornwall they're, as well. They're French. So why has it got the Union flag on Because it's English rules, James. Yes. Goodness oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> this video's going well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we start with the rules? We're going to give you a quick uh, overview of the rules. Uh, and then we'll show you a turn of us playing the game so you can see how it flows and then we'll come back with our verdict and who won. So each of us has chosen a faction. I'm playing the dwarves. Um, it's upside down <laughs> from my perspective. So there's the dwarves. Martin is playing the undead, which is uh, an expansion faction. Uh, there you go. Dark, dark rampage. rampage. I don't know if that's their name or whether it's just the name of the expansion. Um, James is playing the orcs. And Molo is, of course, playing goblins. goblins. Right, so once we've chosen our faction, which we have all done, we each get one of these little um, faction cards that tells us our special abilities and our faction logo on the back. And then we also get a hand of initiative cards plus our general. Now, the way this game works is each turn you play one of these initiative cards. So let's, for example, say I played this one. This would be my initiative. The lower, the more likely you are to go at the beginning of the turn, um, but the less likely of the reinforcements. So this particular card will be played on the sort of in front of the heel here, and this will tell me that I'll have 360s, and the other guys will play theirs at the same time. And this will also tell me what reinforcements I get. So I take three from my reinforcement pile, and then this black or red one means I can take a fourth from my reinforcement pile, or one from my hand, which in this case is the general. And then... It tells me what will be attacking, so I'll be doing melee attacks, so all my melee attacks, and then one of my special abilities will trigger as well. So that goes there. So once you've added your reinforcements, you get to do your attacks. You then count up, so in this situation, I count up all my melee attacks, so anything with my melee symbols on will then get to attack either the player to my right or the player to my left. If said person has been removed, i.e. they have no units, then I can go around to Which the Which is completely person. conceivable as well. Yeah. Um, so in this case, let's say, for example, I've got an attack of five because I've got four from this guy and one from these guys. These guys are range attacks. I'm not doing any range attacks. So I've got five. So, for example, I could kill these guys for two and these guys for one yeah, the, plus... Yeah, basically you have to hit the front line first. But we've got three like rows. We've got the front line, mid line, back line. And that's determined. You can see these kind of like little arrows on the side here. So these are front line units. These are middle. And obviously I haven't got any in the back line. Back well, like Molo, well, in fact, both of you two have. Um, so he's got to go through the front line first. So for him, ignoring... There's a special ability on these guys, but ignoring usually these special abilities, you would have to kill both of these before you can then start doing damage on these guys. And you could split it as well. So, for example, I've got five. I could do, say, three to Martin, which well, we need to do that action, one. You put, yeah. yeah. And I could then, say, do two to that one over there. And basically, anything I kill. So, for example, if I killed these two things, they would go into my kill pile over here. And then Martin or whoever had next initiative would take their turns. And once everyone's had the initiatives, so you then count how many units you've killed. So if I had, say, killed these two units, Martin's killed three, James has killed one, and Mo uh, Molo's killed two, then Martin would win the domination um, track, which is basically these tokens over here. So Martin had domination, so he gets the five skull point token. Me and Molo would... Um, I can't remember who what happens in a tie, but we'll have a look. Basically, yeah. whoever gets the next most kills gets a three, and then the, the last one gets a one. If you wipe someone completely out, so they have no units left, you can then say carnage, and you get a carnage token, which is a bonus point. Yeah, there is some the tie. The okay. tie is broken by whoever has the initiative. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. There is some like stupid rules with the carnage thing. You're supposed to like yell carnage, and everyone's supposed to congratulate you. And if they don't, you lose a token or something like that. But that's bollocks. We're yeah. just we're just gonna if you if you wipe someone out, you get a carnage token. I think that's, that's an optional rule, but yeah, it is really bollocks. 
Um, and then everything that you've killed goes into the, the hill over here, and then we start a new round. Uh, the game lasts four rounds, and uh, the person with the most victory points is the winner. And I think that's pretty much it. You'll mm -hmm. see when we do the, the gameplay turn how simple it is. It's literally play initiative card, summon your reinforcements, person with initiative gets to... Yeah, we were a bit taken aback at how brutal it seemed, because literally what you have your entire turn. So you spawn everything, then you attack with everything before anyone else has spawned. <laughs> you get and to so, murder other people. Yes, so literally if you go early on that first round, the chances are you're going to massacre some someone or more than one person. Okay, so we're going to start this game off. We'll play the first maybe two rounds and then come back to you for maybe round three, somewhere around there. Right, so you join us for the gameplay round. We've had two rounds already. Um, this is what the board looks like after the carnage. Uh, I have some little worse for wear dwarves after their little party left over. Yeah, they just went off for a piss up. Uh, and the goblins went last in the last round. That's why they have loads left. The undead have a skull catapult just parked off in the hills. Which is a bit concerning. <laughs> and the orcs have nothing. Mm. Right, so the first thing we've got to do is pick an initiative card. So, out of the um, remaining four that we have, I'm going to choose one. Um, and I think I'm going to go with... That was quite annoying. I didn't plan this out well at all. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest, Jason. All right, I'm going to go with that. Come, James. Balls to the walls, people. All right, so reveal. Yes. Two sixty. Ah. Ah. Yes. So the undead are going first, then the dwarves. Then the orcs and then the goblins. Just by the way, uh, points wise, let's have a quick tally of points so we can sell people. I've got eight, which is just from domination points. James has got ten from a combination, yeah. and me and Milo tied with three each. Yay! All right, so James is we're getting, in the lead. We're getting smushed currently. All right, so the undead are going first, so let's turn the camera towards them. Well, based on this, <laughs> I get basically two cards from my reserve deck and then one from either reserve deck or from my um, hand but I don't actually have any heroes in my hand anymore so I get three from there and you're only doing ranged attacks but three. twice well yeah <laughs> what's the little green flag do that's the one that spawns you, oh, know, uh, if you know that my leader yeah right so this dude comes out so this goes in my front row and he has a surprise attack of two no. which is melee I can hit only piece of person left or right to me. However, um, he hasn't got any, so basically I can I hit Molo. Currently have plus one shield on all of my units. As okay, well. I'm going to hit Jason anyway. So That's, I just wanted to explain the shield quickly. The, this is the defense, obviously at the bottom here. So these dwarves have a defensive two, but the shield gives them reinforcement or something or whatever it is. And uh, yeah, um, it's basically plus one defense. Yeah, I'm take out you. Uh, you mean you had one without shield in there, Jason? I yeah. did. Um. He's quite big. Ah, <laughs> he's the bottom half of some sort of giant. So he has to go search his deck for the bogeyman top half. And uh, shuffle this on. Here he comes. There he is. Some sort of huge <laughs> mama jammer. Mama jammer. And sadly, he does melee. Um, yeah, you're too. <laughs> there, isn't it? And then my last one. He is. So range attack, Martin. Yay! Celebrate with cake. Okay, so you I do. Cake. <laughs> so essentially, my range as I'm doing two ranged attacks. Okay, so the first thing I do is total up. I'm going to put him in the middle. Aesthetically speaking, it's much better. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> also big. He is. Um, so the first thing I do, I total up all my um, five. My range. So I've got five. So I do five damage. I can split it three and three. But you've round got. It up. I've got five on mine, just for these two guys. Yeah, I think I will take out... Uh, he's got extra shield. Plus one shield. Yep, yeah, three and three. Three and That's three, fine. Okay. Basically, you round up. Yeah. So I'll go three and three. Okay. And you're going to do another... And then I do a second melee attack. Uh, second range attack, sorry. Because he's got another ranged attack symbol. Um, so so they darkening the skies. Another five. And I guess I'll go... Man, I really don't want to do too much to you, Jason. But I basically have to... You can do five, three and three again. 
So no, one I, of can't, his... I can't kill those. They've got shields, you say. Of course, they've got four, yeah. Everything has got a shield, yeah? Yeah, there's ten. Well, what is that? That's in there. Let me just put it upside down. Jesus, that's awful. Um, Ironically, the humans, which is the faction we're not playing, have a, a special ability that ignores shields. <laughs> yeah, that's if you would have played that in the strategy yeah. card, you're though. You're doing melee and range. I think I'm going to take out those. Two to that, two to that. All right. And now my ability does nothing. <laughs> Essentially, I count all the green things I have from here uh, when that's on there. Um, and for each one, I get a card to come out of this. And he, he keeps these cards here for now because this will count towards the domination. That's me. All right. So now it's me. I've got three reinforcement cards. So <coughs> I'll add those three in there. And then one by one, flip them over to see what they do. So the first one is a two surprise attack on the front. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're the only thing I can hit, so that's going to have to die. What is this? Little jack-o'-lanterns. Um, and then, ooh, I've got a four surprise attack, board general. So that's what he looks oh, you like. can kill a spider now. Or yeah. well, you can no, get two. You can get two cards over here. Mm. No, I'm going to take one of these boars. Really? Oh, yeah, only because they're a pain in the ass to kill. Hey, you know, there. And, and he gets to go next. And also, that's a reinforcement. Oh, because it has the little flag in the corner, that's a reinforcement one. Still so get I get to go. another reinforcement on my deck. So let's see what I get next. Some ranged attack, guys. And then some hillbillies. Oh, hillbillies? <laughs> Alright, so that's what my army looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is melee attacks. So I've got two, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I've got 11. And what's he got? 4. Oh, Jesus. These are 6 each. <laughs> 12 right there on the Look own. at that card, Marino. Um, Seems strong, doesn't it? That? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. What, did you, what have you got? Yeah. 12. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do, you want to do 6. Or six. Yeah. I'm going to do all of them. So yeah. I take out the undead and I get a carnage. <clears throat> I purposely went early then. To, to make it harder to get, because I only have one unit. And that was the only reason I went early, and I still got wiped out. So that's my melee <clears> attack <throat> done. Now I get to do my range attack, which is only four, and I'm gonna zap oh, no. another ball. And then I get one final thing, which is I got a veteran point. Which you but, can't use. But I accumulate all my veteran points, there's only one, and Molo's got loads of shields, so I can't do anything with that. So that is me done. James. James. Right. I'm a bit worried about the symbol that he's got there because it's a dude four. holding an axe. <laughs> yeah. So you go. What would you be worried? You've got nothing on the board. But it can't be good, let's be fair. No, true. Yeah, me and you are the it's ones fun. who are going to worry. Also, I've got three points, Mano. <laughs> <clears throat> it's fun. Alright, so what that symbol does. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, surprise, yeah, surprise you at two. Oh, I can These do him. Right upside down. Yeah, yeah. I, I could do. See, even I do it. Uh, two over there. Give me that one, please. Bang. So that was two, four. Now, what this does, every army discards half their cards rounded up. Um, what? Yeah. Well, which, which does that? Seriously? That. Right, yeah, but you, you do your melee attack first, though. Yeah, do my melee attack first. Two, so, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven is gonna go. Um, Man, that sucks. Yeah, I can't. You could do two of his. I could do two of his there. Oh, yeah. No, you can do. Oh, there's a six, is six and yeah. two, isn't it? Yeah. What did I say? We want three, four, seven. five, six, seven. You could do four and four. Four and four. Be, uh, that would be better four, actually. Four, yeah, four, 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 yeah, four here and, and four here. Yeah. Okay. And then it also makes him lose. Yeah, you're still losing two. Yeah. So and both of them are in fact. Both of them are losing a big one as well. Yeah. So you can Burns. choose them yourselves and I will Does he get do you get them in your deck? Which goes to the hill. Um and Alright, that's a bit. Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, that's a bit. yeah but you But he gets no carnage from them. You are reasonably likely to get double carnage here though. <laughs> oh, he's done. Oh I'm done now. No. Oh him? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's got to go, yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. He need, as long as he's got six and six, he's done it. Well, he's got three just on the yeah, spider. Yeah, so he needs 12. Okay, oh. Two range just does nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. 
Yay! Range. More range! Come on, range! Oh, combat. That's yeah. four. Okay. Oh, combat and Rian four. Is that the middle? There we go. So that's, yeah, that's six. Bad. That's another that's one of us. Yeah, it's one of us done. And he gets a card as well. Yeah. Another range. Woo. Oh, another reinforcement. Oh, oh goodness oh. me. That's eight. Nine. Yeah, that's not enough, but it'll do some damage. Jeez, nine, you say? Four, five, six, so now I would suggest going for uh, James oh, here because no. you get more cards, you know, in, towards the domination victory. I can't argue with that. <laughs> I was going to say something completely different, but no, I can't, I can't, I can't argue with that. Either way, I get, uh, oh no, because the split is equal, isn't it? So I can't... Yeah, it's five and five. Yeah. You yeah. So you could wipe out him and do five to him and it would just wipe off at the end. Yeah. Which or is still you... the but, same but, thing. But though, that is fairer, then you haven't targeted one person. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the net result is identical. We'll do that then, in the interests of fairness. <laughs> <laughs> Carnage! <laughs> Did you get your Carnage token? Yeah, you just got it there. Alright, uh, carry that then. Oh, That's Jesus. Good for green skins, and we just beat the shit Four, out of five. each other. Five. I got two. Five. Six, again. Seven. Oh, I'll get it on there. What did you say? You got how many? No, you got the lowest initiative this There's time. There's two. Everybody was Holy dead. Crap. You yeah, I got three. One. You got the highest one again. I got seven. Yeah, Jason is winning this. Although, I'm not sure if the giant counts as two. I still win anyway, because yeah, I got six. Yeah, they count. Yeah. 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 It doesn't matter now anyway, does it? Yeah. I suppose, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, there we are, I can't see it. And that, that is around. 14 points now, Jason, eh? I'm doing alright. I can't, I can't, I can't lie. James has got 12. Mine's got 4. I've got 6. And there's one round left. Yeah. Mine has a lot of cards. Pulling in this back. Pulling this back. <clears throat> I am unsure of what to do. I think. Oh man. This card sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got that problem. It's just the stuff it gives me. I just don't oh, screw it. I'm going to go with this. Right. Smoke them if you got them. 120. Oh, five, five damn it! <laughs> yeah. 280. So I'm going last. See, I was thinking about using my last card, but I. Oh my, my god, last... what have I done? <laughs> 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 well, you'll get to attack my bear, that's what you get to do. <laughs> oh no, no! Oops! Oh great, and I'm, Oops. I'm not going to get to carnage anyone either, because you can have so many bloody... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Straight Molo! On. In case the viewers don't know what's going on... Right, so you get five cards anyway, Molo. He's got the lowest initiative. And there's and only one thing to kill. <laughs> On the, on the plus side, actually, at the moment, look, he can't even do it. He's only got four. <laughs> <laughs> so if he gets no more uh, ranged attacks, he can't actually kill you. There's one. So it's five. five. No more. No more. Oh, he's yeah! got it. Oh. Carnage! <laughs> <laughs> Not carnage yet. Control yourself, Molo. Sorry. Well, he's got quite a lot oh, of range. God. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've done 18. Yeah, and you're the There's worst. your six. You get one card for the domination. Yeah. <laughs> Carnage, there you go. <laughs> Good job, Mona. Good job. But, uh... He's a strategic powerhouse, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's the face of shame. <laughs> Got it. Well, I'm a bit annoyed at you, Molo, because now I, I don't get a chance to carnage anyone. You're getting a lot of cards here, though, I think. So what's that? Two, four, five. One, two. I couldn't even spider web anybody because they were all dead. <laughs> On the flip five. side, you did kill my bears, man. They were cool. <laughs> Come on, James. I know. I this know. is your game, Ben. Shh. It's late. <laughs> hey! What is that? Giant. He's a giant. Oh, he's the thing that just destroys something. Oh, that's good, because he's massive. Oh. If he destroys something massive, that'll help somebody else. Ten! He's ten! <laughs> ten! <laughs> Have a look at... What's he called? Stomper Ted. <laughs> Jesus! Yeah, so you can go in the middle. Stop that. <laughs> right, so melee attack, James. Oh, let me just double check what me. Uh, One, two, does. so you got five. Oh, it does. 
three, four, five, or five there. Before, during, or after one of your melee attacks, choose and destroy one card unit whose defense score is no higher than the score indicated on the symbol. If there's no symbol, anyone, I believe. I wonder who's the unit attack. must be in. <laughs> <laughs> Must be in one of the armies you attacked and within reach of your melee weapon. What, what amuses me, he's got five melee and there's five at the front. <laughs> and he can kill one there is no thing. score indicated <laughs> in the symbol, the defence score of the target does not matter. Crush the symbols are cumulative and two symbols without the score can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so first things first. Three, four, five. Uh, well, straight away, that's five there. Because one of them's got a um, shield. And then... Uh, one thing dies. One thing dies... Uh, no. <laughs> actually, actually, hold on, hold on. Take it out. Yeah, but two, four, five. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, He's got five range. Three. I can only kill two with my range, so I'm going to kill this guy with your hammer. With my hammer, splat, and, and then, then my range of just five, kill, five, kill them two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go to <laughs> you, you, you don't mind me getting more points, brother, because uh, it's these two That's that are in the contention of winning. Well, what you got? Because he, I think not he's a done. lot. Here we go. Make it good. This is the last uh, round of the game, by the way. So there's a flesh Gordon. Uh, what is that symbol? <laughs> not seen it. Hey, flying. What, what does it do? <laughs> Imagine they could fly over the top of the first rank. You can attack anywhere. Like, well, flights. they're all coming out now. <laughs> flights. After the attack phase, this unit is away until the end of the round. Say again? Oh, it disappeared. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Not that yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. We still get the carnage. But hmm, interesting. Yeah. Stop right, anyway. Uh, this you guy's got... got well, well, you've got another two reserves. Well, yeah, this oh. guy's got a uh, um, surprise, surprise attack surprise first. Well, it has to be against Three. that. Yeah. And then two more... Apparently, mid rows filling up. I'm not actually sure they, it's good to get those flying ones now. No, no probably, probably not. Um, There's another reserve. But that's the green thing. Oh, oh yeah. Thanks, James. <laughs> uh, oh my god. <laughs> the so shuffled, your, shuffled your deck better, awesome. man. Apparently, my middle row. Is that it? Yeah. Is that oh, enough? you got a melee attack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15, 11, Quite 12, bad. 30, 30, 40. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you get more cards. I've got to go way. for my yeah. Yeah. You get more cards. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything's dead. Garbage! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You get your first one. No, it's your second that, one. That's no, like a third one. I think that's a six-point swing. That. <laughs> what is that? One? That's mine. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, it's not. I don't. I don't know what that is. That's just yours. I don't know whose is that is actually. What have you been doing, Jason? What is it? Is that the one Jason gave you previously? I don't know. I'm gonna just put it in the setup. Yeah. Lost. Lost cause. So now it's mine. Hang on. That was the first thing I killed. No. From you. My surprise attack. I've only got three cards. I hope oh, they're yeah, all melee. Yeah. There's a two. There's a two. Uh, and there's a shitty one. Yeah, so you've got two three point attacks. Yeah. And then a two one point veteran attack. No, then a one point attack. You can do split it and get a two two, and you get two cards that way. Okay. Or you can do your four, and you'll get. Oh, no, it's only three, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah so I've got three good. to begin with. So let's see. Ding, ding, ding. Um, I have a question about this. If you kill that, is he then has to do that? Yeah, yeah. Do I think he's in the middle yeah, row. Yeah, in the middle yeah. row still. Yeah. So, well, that looks a bit big for you. <laughs> well, I'm going to do this one for three, and then I'm going to get another melee attack, which I'll do that one for what it's worth, and then my oh no, they got freaking. Uh, at what point does the flying kick in? Oh yes, at the end of your turn. Yeah. Screw you, man. You're not going for those. <laughs> uh. Wow, that really sucks. <laughs> it doesn't matter this one or this one. They're both, they're both one card. I know, like? but I was trying to get two cards and I thought I could get two there. Well, well, you you, you've done it completely I wrong. Can't. You could have split your attack. You could have got two in there and two on there and then your second attack 
You well, I got my second attack now, so I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, James. Yeah. Just... No. <laughs> <laughs> not that it really matters. And then I've, I've got a one point veteran attack which can't do anything. Can it not kill? No, because no, the big <laughs> bastard's in the way. Oh, so veteran doesn't get around that, no? No, I don't think so. Just each after each melee attack, add the scores in all veteran symbols of participating units to obtain a new strength point total. Yeah, Carry out another melee attack against okay. one of the armies. Fine. Oh, disregarding lines. Ah. <laughs> there, you there you go. go. Stop reading to the end of the card now. <laughs> Right. There we go. So that's the end of the round. So yep. we title up our... Domination. Three, four, five, six, seven, I know I've beaten Molo. One. <laughs> I, I got nine. I got four. I got five. That one. one. So I got third place this time. And then we count our points. So we might as well go straight into the end of game and verdict, yeah? <laughs> what? What? Because the uh, point doesn't take long to count up. What <laughs> have you got? I got 15. Oh jeez, what did I James. No, uh, I've got 14. That's 5, 10, 14. Holy shit, I won by one point. I got 12. Had a good last hey, round. Not too bad, yeah. actually. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's 6 points swing. how screwed I was at the beginning. All oh, my poor little archers <laughs> came out and were not no, able no, to shoot. what were you thinking? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I, I, I can't understand how you got so few points anyway. <laughs> All he did was win for carnages. <laughs> And then in the last turn, you had like and, nothing and no to strategy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he talked a good talk off halfway, halfway through the game. He was like, "I'm going to do this, do this, do that." I did kill the guys I said I was going to. I just didn't kill a lot of guys. <laughs> All right, let's have a quick chat about what we thought about this. How about you, James? This is your game. What did you think? Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Enough said. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And I'm really now I'm really looking forward to um, adding the the bits and bobs. It seems here. The, I just had a quick look while it was someone's turn. You've got a big pile of black cards here. And you've got a choice when you get your black symbol. You can choose to draw that to put it into your reinforcement pile or into your hand. This is from an expansion, so, right? Oh, from the expansion, yeah. That explains that being yeah. ruled in. Yeah, so, just so, so the box from the expansion, you do? That's, well, there's two expansions. You've got that expansion there, which is Tricks and Mercenaries. And then Morton and showed, the, showed that one already. Yeah. So and that's there seems to be there seems to be more cards to add to each deck as well. Mm -hmm. here. But that's interesting because the rules are written with it explicitly says about you know drawing from your hand and stuff, yeah. which which would imply then that that expansion they'd already planned that, but didn't add it to the base game. Potentially, just... you got some mercenaries in the Kickstarter. As it well. was a, probably a stretch goal. Yeah, well. maybe. But uh, that, that that doesn't come with the game, by the way. You have to buy that separately. Mm. Um, so yeah, you were saying. You liked it, and uh, how much would you rate it out of ten? Out uh, of ten, I'll give I'll give it a solid nine. Nine? Yeah, it's it's, it's simple. It's fun. There's no proper tactics really, apart from what Molo did. <laughs> that was that was, was, a, was, a, was a bit silly. <laughs> it was a completely stupid, but it's just a fun game. You don't really have to think about it really. It's really quick as well. I mean, yeah, even yeah, with yeah, the filming, this lasted about twenty minutes. Yeah, that's it. How about you, Milo? Yeah, it's a fun, spammy little game. It's got a whole lot of goblins. I mean, there's, those are all good points. <laughs> How much would you rate it? I think it's about seven and a half. It's sort of like, yeah. Is this something you would buy? Because I could see you something that you would play quite often. Potentially, yeah. I, I might, might pick this up, I think. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. How about you, Martin? Yeah, I like it as well, actually. It's very simple. I think it's one of those things that if you go in with the, mic, the right frame of mind... Um, you get quite a lot of enjoyment out of it. It's as Milo said, it's kind of light, spammy, as he said, just kind of throw cards and just kick the crap out of each other. But for what it does, it's it's kind of in the same vein as like your King of Tokyo and whatever that wrestling one is, the Luchador monster one, thing, yeah. and all oh. that sort of thing. I can't remember what it's called. Cool. Uh, but it's it's that kind of same feel. You just kind of throw stuff down, and there is, I mean, I think there's some strategy in there. Of when what initiative cards you play, obviously you're randomly drawing from there, and when to play your commander card and things like that. So I do think there's a bit in there. I mean, it's not a powerhouse in any regard. Um, in terms of score, I think in the right frame of mind and going in kind of with your eyes open and expecting that kind of light game i think i'd give it an eight um but if you're i think it's probably only a maybe a six out of ten for just you know compared to other games but i think as i say in the right frame of mind maybe with a few drinks and stuff i think it's, it's the right the, groups as well yeah i think it's a lot of fun and so that would bump it up to, to an eight for me and i think the both games of this i've played now i think have been great fun 
Yeah, I kind of agree. I mean, I must admit, when I played this for the first time, James brought it around a couple of weeks ago, and uh, we started setting it up, and he explained the rules, and then uh, we started going through the first couple of turns, and I was thinking, Jesus, this game is crazily unbalanced and rubbish. <laughs> oh, it's but, definitely that, <laughs> crazily unbalanced. <laughs> I mean, I, was, I, I just didn't understand what was going on at the time, but once we got through the first game, I was like, actually... This is quite fun, actually. I kind of like it. It reminds me of Titanium Wars. Yeah. It's that it's, same sort of feel. Oh, you definitely get that rush thing with it, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's got a little quirky, fun artwork. Um, the the choices of you have of basically when you want to play your initiative cards and how you want to use your abilities. Um, but you can't be precious about your stuff because they get brutalized. <laughs> Every turn, you basically end up with hardly anything left on the board unless you went last. <laughs> Um, but yeah, otherwise, just as the same as the guy said, it's it's actually quite a fun game. It's it's really fast. I mean, you're looking at 20, 25 minutes if you know how to play the game. And uh, you just throw some cards down, murder some people, and have a laugh. So I would probably, I'd probably give this a 7.5 as well. I think it was really good. Really good filler. Really fun to play. Uh, I think the expansion added quite a bit of variety the, as well. Yeah, the, my only negative real um real world negative would be that it's a kickstarter there's a lot of extra stuff that they added in the kickstarter that you can now no longer get um and that really pisses me off well one of them is a faction yeah. isn't it the yeah there's faction. an entire faction that you can't yeah. get there's a play mat which would be really cool mm, yeah, be um you know just stuff and like, extra cards and whatnot and it's just irritating that you know oh you didn't know about this game unlucky you can never get it all yeah that sucks i think one of the aesthetic things that bug me a lot is when you play your cards in front of you you have to put them the upside, upside down. down yeah it's very strange oh my god that bugs me i don't know why it bugs me so much but it's like i can't every time i look at my cards i'm like what the fuck? oh it's upside down god damn it uh but that's obviously just for uh, ease of sake for other people looking at your cards because your cards don't actually matter that much to you you're only looking at they're gonna be lasting long anyway yeah not that they're gonna be there <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's really cool, and uh, there's lots of other little variety here. Obviously, James showed you the expansion, which adds more stuff. Yeah. So, this is a really good game. I, I think Devil Pig have a winner on their hands here, if you're in the right, like, Martin in the right frame of mind. I've also, no, they've got another game coming out called Age of, I think it's called Age of Towers, or something like that, which looks pretty fun as well. i tell you what, I would, if they added this with the extras as an add-on, I'd consider backing out at a, a low amount just to get this one. Well, the, the age of the towers thing yeah i think they did actually add this on the kickstarter i can't remember they often do the, uh, mm. they put it on the game, so. well there you go that's our little overview of carnage hell yeah go check it out